Hello, I'm Dr. James Bogash, publisher of Modern Health Myths, and today we're going to talk about what you should be drinking. Anybody who's been following me for any number of time knows that I am not a fan of drinking water, and I rarely recommend it to patients. I, and bottled water absolutely is off the list. It's loaded with BPA. That's even if you get anything more than tap water. So I always steer people towards unsweetened, flavored organic when possible tea. And our household um, actually goes through quite a bit of tea. My son's been conditioned so much that if we happen to be out and I have to send him to school with water, he gives me this disgusted look, like how's he gonna drink that during the day? But um, this particular study that we're talking about here, or let me back up. So why am I a fan of tea over water? Water has no inherent benefits. Now, that's not what you've heard. We've been told we need to drink eight glasses of water a day. I'm not suggesting that you should go hiking here in Arizona in August at noon and not bring something to stay hydrated. But water doesn't detoxify. We need it to, to it, it's part of detoxification, but drinking water will not by itself stimulate detoxification. De, yeah, detoxification. And so all of these things we attribute to water, it, it's not, like drinking more water will produce more benefits. Tea, on the other hand, has hundreds of documented benefits on all aspects of health. Now, uh, in this particular study that, as always, I will put the reference in the comment section, this one had to do with uh, tea, in particular the polyphenol in tea, epicatechin, epigallo, don't quote me on it, ECEG, uh, and it's one of the more powerful components of green tea. And they found that it had a pretty significant impact on uh, precancerous liver cells. So that shouldn't really come as a big surprise. We see, we've seen lots of studies where cancer or where tea drinking lowers your risk of, <clears throat> of certain types of cancer. The, uh, as far as what types of tea are as I mentioned, we generally do organic. I won't do your typical run-of-the-mill, like a Limpton black tea. Like, there's no way. It's, it's just too boring, um, too likely to be loaded with toxins. Tea and coffee both are notoriously high in pesticides. It's one of the reasons why I try to steer with organic when possible. There's some flavors of tea that are just too good to pass up, even though they're not organic. So... Uh, and we drink so much tea, it's just a matter of um, red, black, or it's not typically red, black, white, green. We go for more for flavor than we do for uh, for uh, the, the type of tea. And uh, I actually have some show and tell here, just so you can get an idea of how we make tea at home. Uh, this is a typical picture. We used to carry, uh, I will not store things in plastic in our household, used to have glass, and then I realized that if I drop this, it's going to get ugly. So we just moved to these restaurant style stainless steel pitchers. Also, I can pour the tea in here when hot, and it's not an issue. We generally go through about two of these every day or every other day, so it gives you an idea of how much our household drinks. As far as how to make tea, People at Tivana would just have a conniption if they saw, but we uh, just have a dedicated, what's this, five quart saucepan. I don't know. We're going to go with five quart. I fill it with, we have an RO system, so I fill this up to the top. We use a tea infuser. Instead of those little ball infusers, they don't carry enough tea. This cup infuser we've had for years, it's perfect. They just pour the tea in there. Put it on here, put it on the side, bring it to a boil, let it cool down, and then we pour it back in there and store it in the fridge. So that's how we can make and go through so much tea in our household. To give you an idea of different types that we drink, there's several brands. Uh, China Mist is excellent. Um, this is just one box of China Mist. This happens to be their jasmine, their organic jasmine peach. Phenomenal tasting. Uh, one particular packet here is enough to fill up that container. I will, uh, when they have a sale, 
like a free shipping sale, I'll usually buy about $60 worth of tea, and this will usually last us six months or more. So if you think this is expensive, it's not. It's cheaper than anything else you're probably drinking. It's certainly cheaper than bottled water. Uh, Republic of Tea Blackberry Sage. I bought it on sale at Sprites. It sprouts. It's not organic, but holy cow, this is a good one. Uh, same thing with Black berry jasmine by china mist it's not organic but it's one of those teas that's just too good to not drink in our household uh, china mist also makes a lemon ginger and this is another one that really is surprisingly good we've recently just started moving to maya tea you can see our little my little stash i got from them when they had a sale and we discovered the yeah the blueberry is a little boring uh vanilla mint we, we discovered this Coconut Rush, holy heck, it's like cream brulee tea. Again, unsweetened, um, flavored, organic tea. But between all these teas, we probably have about 10 different teas that we will rotate through. I just kind of grab one and that's what it is. But these are all a variety of, of white, green, and black. It just depends on what flavor we happen to go through. So that's kind of our uh, show and tell for today. Uh, as always, feel free to like this video, share it with somebody who you think needs the information, and subscribe to the channel.